Okay, well, she's a Tony, an Emmy, and a Golden Globe winning actress who stars in the Showtime series Weeds. Now she's back on Broadway, uh, starring in Hedda Gobbler. Please welcome Mary Louise Parker. Wow. Now, wait a minute. Is it true? Is this your first time on our show? It is, actually. Do you know what's so crazy? I feel like I know you. I've seen you in the park with your adorable I, 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 exactly. <laughs> You have the career that every actor, I mean, truly, I, I mean, I think about, you've done everything. You do film, you do stage, you do television. I mean, you've done it all. You really have. Do you have I mean, a favorite, like, uh, uh, you know, a, a favorite form? Free. Yeah, I, well, I really love the theater because okay. I was trained in the theater and mm -hmm. I just, I love the camaraderie of it and mm -hmm. I love just doing a play and being there with the other actors. Do you ever get those so gripped with, because I, um, I, I do this for a living and, and I feel like, I feel very relaxed doing this, but the, the idea of going on stage and performing for yeah. people <laughs> actually like have, gives me an anxiety attack oh, just, really? talk, just talking about it with yeah. you. So do you ever feel <laughs> that way? You should do it then. No, 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 yeah. no. No, that's right. You're, you that's the reason to do it. But, yeah. but again, if you say you have uh, your kids, one of them sick, for example, or something, and you're getting ready to go on stage, yeah. does that make it more difficult? Well, if, if I thought one of my kids was sick, yeah, I don't know what I would do, actually. That hasn't happened to me. Or that would be, oh, well, Ted, thanks rehearsal. for putting that in the universe. Okay, yeah. well, someone fell and, and sprained their ankle. <laughs> my daughter cut her chin, uh, and they called, and I was on stage, and it was yes. in the middle of the tech, and they said, everything's fine. And when people start sentences with everything's it's, fine, you know, like my heart. heart. That's right. And she had to have stitches, so I just, I ran out. I still had my wig on, and it was oh. like, she had to That's, have stitches in her chin. Right. Oh my but I have goodness. to be there. You want to be there when you yes. can have stitches, Absolutely. you know? Absolutely. That's right. All right, we're going to take a break, and we're going to talk more with Mary Louise Parker. Gerber is proud to support Live's Beautiful Baby Search as part of their pledge to nourish a healthier generation one baby at a time. For more information on the Start Healthy, Stay Healthy pledge, visit LiveRegisandKelly.com. Still ahead on Live, we'll continue our game day grub with George Hearst's recipe for white turkey chili. Parker, star of Weeds. Now, this show, I mean, has gotten so much critical acclaim. Uh, you play a mom mm -hmm. who also is a drug dealer. Mm -hmm. Well, her husband, her husband passed True. away, and so she right. had no choice, right? Yeah. Well, she did have a choice. She could have gotten a job at the Gap. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, but I mean, we always have a choice. But so I she decided like. to sell. Yeah, she went another. Weed. She had another path. It's I always see. interesting when you have to play a character like that, like somebody. Uh, uh, obviously, you play it from her point of view. What mm. is her point of view? Well, I think she, actually, it's a good question because I don't think she has one. I think she's so in denial and still kind of grieving in an odd way. Mm. She kind of put that, compartmentalized it. So I don't mm. think she's actually looking at herself with any kind of perspective. I think she's just kind of doing and right. going and without ever reflecting. No, no judgment, just getting through. No, I'm just gotta get this dime bag out there. And then <laughs> <laughs> is that fun? Is that a yeah. great experience? How for much? You it's or? funny because I'm not. I've, How I'm much really drug square, jargon so. do you know now? I know quite a bit. Yeah, right. um, and it, it's in LA, right? People on the street. Oh, yeah. be like, can I buy a something, something? Oh, yeah. oh, no. oh really? When you're yeah. like, wow. When I'm with my kids, with a stroller, yeah. yeah. See, that's why nice. I get people to drive by and say, hey, Jefferson! Yeah, that's yeah, funny. Hey, yeah, that's gets, funny. hey, do you have some weed? Yeah, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> that's a little rough, I bet. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little strange. But then, I, I guess the show's on hiatus right now, so you're able it to is. do this Broadway show, mm -hmm. Headed Gobbler. Mm -hmm. And tell us about, the, she's a very complicated character. Yeah, she's complicated, too. Yeah. Is this exhausting? It is, because but it's exhausting in a good way, because mm -hmm. if you do theater and you're I, I'm kind of addicted to it and I think the people who do it regularly they are they understand that kind of exhaustion mm -hmm. actually right. can feel kind of great mm -hmm. you know it's like a great workout right by the it end is. of the show you and just the actors like I'm working with are so awesome and we all get along so well so that's so nice it's nice to be there in the theater with them do you ever have any like uh, close calls or mishaps on well, stage? I caught fire what caught do you mean fire. what do you mean you caught fire that's I was, I was standing on stage and I was like 
<laughs> I was trying to be subtle about it, but I smelled something burning. I was like, that's so weird. What's, what could possibly be burning? And it was me. <laughs> yeah. What were you, what were you, what caught well, fire? Well, there were a lot of candles, mm -hmm. and the director was like, put some extra candles. And I said, really? Because there's already five candles. But I thought, okay, maybe he has a vision about the candles. <laughs> so, uh, I guess I turned around on stage really quickly in my dress just and Alan Rickman was there in the audience he said I was seconds from coming up on the stage <laughs> yeah, jumping yeah. on you. That would have been great. That's what I love about the theater because that could actually happen. Yeah, I mean it was well it's Hedda Gobbler on Broadway at the American Airlines Theater now yeah. till do you, when Buckle is the up. when does it run until? Um end of March, I think. But go and, see it tonight, yeah. tomorrow. Yeah.